Welcome back to Quick Compare, where today we are looking at the arcade sensation Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for Sega Dreamcast and original Xbox. Now, this is another one of those games where everyone just goes off about how glorious the Dreamcast version is, and every other version that has been released since is just downright awful in comparison. Now, I played this game a ton on Dreamcast. I've never really played it on Xbox, PS2, or 360, PS3, any of those versions, so I'm most familiar with the Dreamcast version, and I know that it is closest to the arcade due to the Naomi hardware. Now, that being said, is the original Xbox version really that terrible? From my testing and research, it's actually not, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 came out in 2000 on Dreamcast, and then nearly three years later in 2003 on original Xbox. The game had a roster of 56 playable characters, which made it pretty much the biggest fighting game for the time, and I'm not really aware of many fighting games since that have beat that character roster until, like, Smash Ultimate. Now, what I do find absolutely fascinating is if you actually look at review scores for this game, the Xbox version scores the lowest among all possible versions of this game. The reason? lack of online multiplayer. What's even more fascinating about that is outside of Japan, this game has never really featured online multiplayer in the slightest. The PS2 version used a USB modem for dial-up services in Japan. The Dreamcast version had multiplayer services in Japan. But for North American releases, this game never had online until the 360 and PS3 releases. So it's so fascinating that the original Xbox version got knocked so hard for lack of online multiplayer. Now, to be fair, Capcom did promise Xbox Live integration didn't fulfill on that, but still. <laughs> it really gives this game such a negative light on the original Xbox, and I just don't feel like that's fair. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some of the differences between both these versions, shall we? So, first up, right off the bat, the main menu. On the Dreamcast version, it says VMU. On the Xbox version, it says Hard Drive. There's also a logo for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen for the Dreamcast version that is not present on Xbox. An interesting change. Not sure why they did it, but, I mean, there it is. Now, as far as gameplay is concerned, both games run top-notch. I was not able to discern any noticeable frame drops between either version, which is something that gets stated in online boards all the time. The Xbox version has frame drops. Where? <laughs> where? Someone please tell me where. I was not able to find any. Please tell me where. The last boss? No, there was no frame drops in the last boss. I played it enough. There's no frame drops there. What is interesting, though, is that the original Xbox version actually appears smaller in its presentation. It looks like the safe areas have been increased, thus making the overall picture smaller. So sprites appear smaller, health bars appear smaller, like everything just appears smaller but at the same time, you're able to see more of the overall environment. Very interesting trade-off, if you ask me, but both games run in 480p. They look pretty dang good. For me, the biggest drawback when it comes to Marvel vs. Capcom 2's presentation on original Xbox is just the fact that it has a different contrast. It looks different. When playing each version separately, I honestly don't notice it, but when you put them side by side, it's like, I can't tell which one I really prefer. I can't tell if I like the more vibrant colors, or if the more subdued look gives it kind of like a more comic-y approach to the entire thing. I don't know, that one's really up to personal preference, I feel, and it's just an interesting shift. Like, I don't know why they had to do it, but that seems to be a common trait between Dreamcast and ports from Dreamcast games. I mean, we saw the exact same thing going from Crazy Taxi on Dreamcast over to Crazy Taxi on PS2. The colors were more subdued. The next big area people love to criticize on the Xbox version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is sound. And I have to give it to the internet on that one because the sound is a lot lower quality. You can tell right off the bat that things just do not sound as accentuated and punchy. It's honestly very, very easy to tell when you put them side by side. When I was playing both of them separately, I wouldn't have been able to notice personally, but when you have them directly against each other, it's so apparent, it's kind of disgusting, really. It's definitely a ding for the Xbox version. 
Next, let's talk about controls for a little bit because this one is just quite a throw up on your own personal preferences. So you have the Dreamcast controller or the original Xbox controller, Duke or S variants. Interestingly enough, the game has the exact same control scheme across both controllers. Face buttons and triggers are your main fighting sources. You don't need to worry about black and white at all on the original Xbox version. It just comes down to if you like the Dreamcast D-pad or thumbstick over the original Xbox D-pad and thumbstick, depending on how you play. Of course, third-party options are available that can really sway this, and arcade sticks are a thing for both systems. So as far as controls go, personal preference! Now let's talk about price, because this is normally a determining factor on which version I personally like to recommend to people, but when it comes to Marvel vs. Capcom 2, both versions have skyrocketed in price. You used to be able to get the Dreamcast version for around $40. If you're lucky, you can still find it within the $60 range, but more typically these days, you're looking at $100 plus based on completion. And because the original Xbox version had a very limited print run, you are looking anywhere from $80 to $100 for that one as well. So when it comes to price, both versions are a little bit absurd at this point, sadly. But let's go ahead and call a winner here, and I am going to have to give it to the Dreamcast version based solely on audio. With the subdued color palette, that's more of a personal thing in my mind, so I can't really say that it's worse than the Dreamcast version because, honestly, I kind of like it a little bit better than the Dreamcast version. I think it looks nicer overall, but man, the audio quality just takes a beating, and it's unfortunate, really, so... Congratulations, Dreamcast version. You are our winner of this episode of Quick Compare. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Which version do you think is better? Do you like the Dreamcast version more? Or do you like the original Xbox version more? Which version have you put the most time into? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But I really think that's enough out of me, so... Thank you so much again for watching this week's episode of Quick Compare. Not a whole lot of differences here, just one of those good old Dreamcast versus the opponent showdown here that I just love so much. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, that like, dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. It really helps out the channel, so thank you so much for taking the time to do that. And if you'd like to further help support the channel, you can always check out that join button here on YouTube or check out my Patreon link in the description. I have just gone through and given it a massive overhaul, so we actually have some tier rewards now, so if you're interested in checking that out, I am most grateful and appreciative to you throw up some special unboxing videos there and previews and votes for quick compare to see what episode is coming next but anyway that's enough out of me i want you all to go ahead and enjoy this side by side of marvel vs capcom 2 running on sega dreamcast and original xbox see ya Capcom presents
Versus Capcom 2. Your name will be inscribed in the pages of fighting history. <laughs> <laughs> 